Okay, Tom and Dylan, so this was the last example from class uh, in period four that we had yesterday. The teacher internet cut out, so I wasn't able to finish this problem for you guys. I did it on the board um, for the guys in the class. So I'm just going to do it out quick for you guys because one of the homework problems has something similar that happens. <clears throat> so as we've seen, I'm going to do it by synthetic division. But as we've seen, this right here is the factor that we're dividing by. What is the zero that comes out of that factor? Three. All right, we're always setting our factors equal to zero to find the, the zero or the root that comes out, and it's three. And that is the number I put in the seat. Now, <clears throat> up here, I have x to the third, and x, and then no x. So it, it looks like almost like there should be like an x squared in here. But I don't know, like it's not there. Like normally there would be a third, a squared, an x, and then no x, but I'm missing the x squared. So we do the same thing. My coefficient is 1, my coefficient is 10, my coefficient is negative 2, and then where there is supposed to be an x squared, we kind of have to like save the spot and make it a 0. So it's almost as if we're kind of viewing this as x to the third minus 10x minus 2, and I'm saying, well, let's just pretend there's a 0x squared in there. And that's what we're kind of saying, is if there there should, like normally I would expect to see it in exactly descending order, so I pop a 0 in there to, to kind of save the spot. That's really the only trick. Everything after that is just our regular synthetic division. Drop down a 1, 3 times 1 is 3. Add going down, 0 plus 3 is 3. Multiply over here, 3 times 3, that's 9. Add going down, negative 10 and 9 is negative 1. 3 and negative 1 is negative 3. Add going down, I get negative 5, which I usually circle in red because that is my remainder. <clears throat> it's not 0, so x minus 3 doesn't go in evenly, so x minus 3 is not a factor of x to the third minus 10x minus 2, and x equals 3 is not a 0, meaning it's not an x-intercept. It's not a 0 or it's not a root. Right? Normally if I ask you divide, you, there's your answer, we would just write it as we see here, so I'll write it like this. Here's x squared, 1x squared, because I started with an x to the third. Drop it down by 1, there's an x squared, coefficient of 1, I'll write it in there, plus 3x minus 1. So we just put these in descending order, starting with 1 less than what we started with. I started with x to the third, I write an x squared, 1, and then I go over here, that's now an x with a 3, Negative 1, that stays. There's my leftover, which we always write as minus 5 over that divisor, that x minus 3 we started with up here. 5 is my remainder. There it is. I write it in red, actually. And then <clears throat> I write it over my divisor, and that would be my total answer. And that was where I had ended the class, and then you have one problem like this on the homework where there's something missing, or maybe two places missing. Maybe I'm missing a couple things, but I always put a zero by whatever power it looks like I'm skipping. Okay? That was all we did at the end of class. Good luck with the homework, and hopefully I'll see you guys on Friday.